screensaver art. Two versions of Leonardo celebrated the Virgin of the Rocks they were painted within 20 years of each other, but details of how, and why, the Renaissance master created the two nearly identical works remain obscure to this date. The Virgin of the Rocks sometimes the Madonna of the Rocks, is the name of two paintings by the Italian Renaissance artist Leonardo da Vinci, of the same subject, with a composition which is identical except for several significant details. The version generally considered the prime version, the earlier of the two, is unrestored and hangs in the Louvre in Paris. The other, which was restored between 2008 and 2010, hangs in the National Gallery, London. The works are often known as the Louvre Virgin of the Rocks and London Virgin of the Rocks respectively. The paintings are both nearly 2 meters, over 6 feet, high and are painted in oils. Both were originally painted on wooden panels, but the Louvre version has been transferred to canvas. Both paintings show the Mary and Child Jesus with the infant John the Baptist and an angel Uriel, in a rocky setting which gives the paintings their usual name. The Virgin of the Rocks Louvre Version The Virgin of the Rocks in the Louvre is considered by most art historians to be the earlier of the two and dates from around 1483 to 1486. Most authorities agree that the work is entirely by Leonardo. The first certain record of this picture dates from 1625, when it was in the French royal collection. It is generally accepted that this painting was produced to fulfill a commission of 1483 in Milan. It is hypothesized that this painting was privately sold by Leonardo and that the London version was painted at a later date to fill the commission. There are a number of other theories to explain the existence of two paintings. This painting is regarded as a perfect example of Leonardo's fumato technique. The Virgin of the Rocks London Version The Virgin of the Rocks London Version A very similar painting in the National Gallery, London, is also ascribed to Leonardo da Vinci, and ascribed a date before 1508. Originally thought to have been partially painted by Leonardo's assistants. A close inspection of the painting during the recent restoration between 2008 and 2010 has led the conservators from the National Gallery to conclude that the greater part of the work is by the hand of Leonardo. But debate continues, parts of the painting, the flowers in particular, indicate the collaboration and have led to speculation that the work is entirely by other hands. Possibly, Leonardo's assistant Giovanni Ambrogio de Predis and perhaps Evangelista. It was painted for the chapel of the Confraternity of the Immaculate Conception, in the Church of San Francesco Maggiore in Milan. It was sold by the church, very likely in 1781, and certainly by 1785. When it was bought by Gavin Hamilton, who took it to England. After passing through various collections, it was bought by the National Gallery in 1880. Both paintings represent a Madonna and child flanked by an infant saint, probably John the Baptist, and an angel. They were painted within 20 years of each other, but details of how, and why, the Renaissance master created the two nearly identical works remain obscure to this date. To shed light on the mysteries surrounding two of Leonardo's best-known paintings let's analyze the difference between versions. Foreign Halos The halos in the National Gallery painting were almost certainly added by somebody other than Leonardo, perhaps a more literal-minded member of the confraternity, probably when the picture was moved in the late 16th century. For Leonardo, the mesos and the mysterious setting and the extraordinary beauty of the figures were enough to make the representation holy. This detail gives a sense of the tensions between the piece as a work of art and as a functional part of an altarpiece. John the Baptist, or another baby? It's extremely difficult to tell who is who in this painting, especially of the little boy on the left-hand side in the Louvre picture. 
John the Baptist has absolutely none of the normal attributes that he would have. He doesn't have a halo, he doesn't have his little scroll, he doesn't wear a camel skin tunic, and he isn't carrying a cross. He's also higher up in the picture than Christ. There's no mention of John the Baptist in the contract from 1493, so why he is there, and why he has been retained in the London picture is really a mystery. Better and Worse Angels Angels are theologically sexless, and Leonardo was very keen on an ideal beauty which wasn't dependent on gender. So the depiction of an angel for him is a rather satisfactory ideal of pure sexless beauty. The angels in both pictures are extraordinary, and, again, very mysterious. The angel in the Louvre painting is wearing a more brightly colored costume. It is looking out at the viewer and is pointing towards the little boy who might be John the Baptist, signaling his importance. People have suggested that it might be an archangel, but it seems to me that it's too small. The angel's hand pointing in the Louvre picture is a distracting element. It interrupts the gesture between the Virgin and her son. Taking up pictorial space I think, that Leonardo chose to leave that the handout in the second version, the National Gallery painting. The mystery is why he included such a little sign in the first place. One suspects it might be because he was instructed to do so. It doesn't feel like his own decision. Although the same thing more or less is happening in the two pictures, Leonardo's different approaches about the landscape. In the National Gallery painting, the landscape is one of the less finished aspects. There are bits that are quite unresolved, and this could be explained by the fact that the artist might have been looking to produce the second version more cheaply. In the Louvre picture, Leonardo put the protagonists on a little stage, a space that you can identify. In the National Gallery picture, everybody looks like they might tumble out into our space. It is much more about the idea of the sculptural relief, making something present in our own world. Divine Landscaping The plants and the rocks are also very different. Whereas in the Louvre painting it's all about close observations of nature, all beautifully observed. In the Louvre painting, Leonardo pictures the world as people experience it. Whereas in the National Gallery painting, Leonardo pictures an ideal world. This is an indication of a shift in Leonardo's own thinking the painter as mirror of nature becoming the painter whose creativity is akin to the creativity of God. Much speculation and debate, but only the Renaissance masters know the reasons. Thanks for watching. Thank you.